Hello. Good morning to all. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, are you here, here me, sir? Sorry? Sir, are you hear me, sir? I can, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so shall I start the session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, or else I have to wait for all the participants to join. Shall I start the presentation now or else we have to wait? You can just go with it. Go with it. Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. Uh, good morning to all. All the credits goes to Almighty God. And uh, I'm here to present my topic on Internet of Things. Uh, do you all guys know about the Internet of Things, right? And uh, this is nothing but uh, internet. Uh, we are manipulating with the internet these days. We have the handset, uh, handset in in our hands, and uh, obviously this handset uh, may be uh, go for our right solutions to make all the things. We can uh, go for a uh, we can go for a internet for all the purpose, and uh, we need a computer and we need a mobile phone to connect the IoT devices. And uh, this is the introduction I'm going to give it, uh, giving to you. And uh, this 4G and 5G or even a 5G connections are going to embed on uh, India very soon. And uh, you may hear about the IoT devices and uh, artificial intelligence, uh, RPA, ROS. Uh, these are the things uh, you are uh, hearing now, nowadays uh, as, uh, as advertisement. And uh, this uh, basic thing means if you are if you are if you are, a, uh, if you are having an electronic behavior means you have to know about the basic of the electronics right. And after that the next step is IoT. And uh, after the IoT devices and the IoT you may construct the IoT devices. Next uh, you are going for a artificial intelligence. And after that you are going for a RPA and ROS like things. So so these are the steps we have to follow it. So after the electronical basic, right? Electronical basic, you, you know about the resistor, transistor, or inductor, capacitor, like the basic components you may you know you know means you being an electronical hobbyist, right? And after that, you are going for the internet of things, right? And uh, here the internet and the sensor. So left hand side, we are having the internet and the sensor. Here I am going to uh, describe you briefly about the internet and sensors. So internet is nothing but a, a computer that is connected to the internet protocol. So you, you may know about the internet or uh, in olden days it is uh, very uh, slower and uh, it may be it may be cause uh, several it may be cause several damages to uh, go for a communication. But uh, today we are uh, conducting a webinar, so that is a uh, one to one communication is going into a one to many communication. So that that is the real cause of the internet, and uh, after the 5G coming uh, coming means, so it will be go several uh, faster. We can uh, download a 1GP in a one second. Uh, it may happen in India soon, right? So these these things are uh, coming into manipulator the documents. So uh, in olden days, they are introduced the uh, world uh, world is introducing by means of uh, getting a calculation and the uh, documentation. So here uh, you may you may go for a Google means. Uh, that, that we are having a spreadsheet uh, and a PDF editor or a document editor like things. All the things are coming to uh, coming under the category of a Google, right? So these documents are needed to manipulate by means of a device. The device is called as a IoT device, right? So next, uh, next, uh, next hand we are having the sensor. So sensor is nothing but a sensor. Here we are going to measure the physical property, right? So sensor is an analog device. So analog devices is converted into a digital one. So sensor it is nothing but a manipulating device that is converted uh, analog signal into a digital one. So so if you go for IR sensor means so uh, you may have uh, have in the TV segmentation, right? So if you are having a television in your uh, home means you may operate in a remote area. So when we transferring, uh, when we transferring a lot of uh, a lot of things that is uh, maybe ch changing the channels and changing the volumes like that. Uh, you may have the uh, you may have the physical property like this. 
that is a ir transmitter is sending to uh, transfer the signal to the receiver and after that uh, tv ob accordingly right so this is a sensor representation and the main sensor we are having in our phone that's handset uh, we are using 4g handset and android based uh, operating system we are using uh, maximum users are using this uh, mobile phones only so here we are having only the we are gyro sensor and the proximity sensor like that we are having right so next of all we are going for the iot so iot is nothing but a computer based it's a computer based one and a computer based one means uh, we are connecting the sensor and activator so we are uh, just mixing together so we are mixing the sensors and computers and activator to the port it is through the internet we can control so we can uh, uh, show we can see a later example i had a four five examples of how the operating uh, how the iot devices get operated with the internet connections uh, that are the example we can see in our, uh, next uh, we can see in our next uh, presentation right so this is about the iot uh, about the iot uh, here we are having the internet connected devices uh, if they uh, are you hear me there is any there is any questions regarding the introduction, introduction of iot uh, more over uh, 66 past participants are here uh, anybody having any questions regarding this presentation if you are uh, having means uh, please raise your hands okay uh, let it go for a uh, next slide uh, this is uh, this is uh, about I iot devices so this is a uh, step by step that is a uh, right side right hand side we are having the reference model and the left hand side we are having the internet connector devices and uh, first of all we are going for the right hand side that is a reference model and uh, uh, this is a bottom up approach so you may have the sensor devices or cameras in the downwards and after that routers is available to connect the sensors to the database right and after that, the third segmentation here, we are having a science computing. And next one, the fourth segmentation, we are having the data accumulation. And after that, the fifth segmentation, we having the data abstraction. And the sixth segmentation, that is the application. So, so when we change in the any temperature, when there is a change in any temperature or else there is a change in the any particles that we are needed to restore, that is in the store, that is shown in the application. Uh, that is a graphical format application. If you are having designing a GPS circuit, means uh, GPS uh, devices, IoT devices, means uh, that they are having the uh, speedometer and locations, uh, Google Map, like that we can have in the application, right? So it it will be uh, go for a greater uh, greater and uh, bigger bigger one. The GPS uh, and telling about the GPS tracking is a uh, very large database we have to connect and uh, we have to connect a lot of uh, displays also and uh, the, that make that make the user to interface easily and compared to the google map right and seventh one is a collaboration one so we can uh, have the camera segment here so next one we are having the monitor here and we can call and we can share and we can update right so this is a refresh one right so this camera can be connected uh, by mean of uh, uh, any any particles right or you may have the computer and along with the web camera or monitor via the gps connections or else one the, or else you can <clears throat> yeah you, you can call call by mean of uh, stimulating this uh, this uh, button by mean of calling the particular things <clears throat> next you can share your uh, share your location to uh, to the many people by mean of so connection uh, you may press the uh, share button right so left hand side that is the evolution of iot devices so usually iot devices can be connected by mean of uh, bluetooth and by mean of ethernet connection and uh, by mean of uh, uh, by mean of uh, internet and uh, by mean of uh, uh, sim module right so these are the several segmentations uh, to connect the uh, to connect the internet of uh, iot devices right so first of all the john Rumkey toaster so it is uh, inverted into 1990s the internet uh, by mean of ethernet so you guys know about the ethernet so ethernet is nothing but uh, uh, you may have in uh, back side of your uh, pc uh, on uh, left right, left hand side or right hand side on the laptop there is a, a rg45 connector it is going on right so it may uh, help to connect the internet by mean of a wired connection 
right? So you may have, you may see in our schools or you may see in our colleges that is the Ethernet connection is available. So in 1990s uh, itself, it can be uh, IoT devices. It is uh, done by mean of a John Rom Toaster, right? So next one we are going for a Amin forum that is a pager network. Uh, pager network it is nothing but uh, just uh, display the text of the message, right? So you may hear some of the 90s kids are uh, uh, having the having the uh, pager. Uh, there is a pager they know, they know very well because uh, uh, there is a simple LCD display. If you message to some uh, some of the number members means it, uh, they will uh, only receive the SMS like that. Or there is a message like that. Uh, next of all, uh, we are going for the iPad. <clears throat> iPad, you know that uh, that is used available in I iTunes too, and uh, Nike Nike iPad. So it is inverted into uh, inverted by uh, 2008. So it is the transferring rate that, that, that is done by means of a USB and PC, right? And uh, Rafi Hajjaudin Najal that is designed by means of a Wi-Fi. These are the evolution and. Uh, and you may see the this iPhone that is inverted into 2000 that is inverted uh, inver, inverted at the year of 2007 <coughs> that is run by mean of a GSM connection right so GSM is nothing but uh, 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 it is a, uh, a sim based module so you may have a 2G connection in that so you may have if you are using a Airtel sim means uh, there is a three segmentation is available uh, now itself you can see uh, edge that is a uh, 2G connections and the uh, GSM that is a 3G connection. Sorry, 3G and 4G connections are available, right? So G GSM means that is equal to a 2G, right? And next up, 3G is nothing but it is a faster, and uh, 4G is a fastest, and 5G it is a two faster than the 4G, right? And next of all, we are going for the wafer villa so but it is uh, inverted by uh, inverted in uh, era in 2007, and these are the evaluation of the uh evaluation of the iot device first they are going for the wired connection wired connection they are going for a uh, uh go, going for the ethernet right wireless connection they are going for the wi-fi so these are the iot devices uh, you need to learn a lot about it and this is the introduction so i am going for a smaller interviews about the all the devices right uh, any queries any queries means you may raise your hands. Participants, do you have any queries? Okay, I'm going for a, a continue continue that session. Uh, next uh, about the IoT devices. So here we are uh, need of a. Uh, uh, need of a sensor and activator. So already I discussed about the sensors, and next uh, I didn't discover uh, discuss about the activator. Sensor is nothing but analog devices. Analog the uh, it is a devices that is convert the analog signal into a digital signal, right? And uh, on the other hand, we need an activator. You may hear about the relays, right? So relay is nothing but a uh, it is an activating device. So it is an activating device. Once it is get triggered, means it will get the uh, get the out output as connect, right? So if you have a switch in your home that is connected to uh, uh, neutral and phase, uh, that may be discussed in the uh, example session and after this presentation, right? So next of all, uh, we need a major, that is a major thing of the IoT is a microcontroller, right? So here the microcontroller, it uh, it is done by mean of uh, uh, Arduino or else Net, Net Dino Plus or Billy Bones, right? So the microcontroller, we need that, uh, uh, microcontroller, we need that, uh, uh, maybe microprocessor in Arduino level or or else or else Raspberry Pi on the Pi segmentation, right? So microcontroller we need that uh, microprocessor we need uh, that is needed to have the get the input and put the output, right? That is a microprocessor is simply goes. So even the Arduino is designed by mean of a simple application that that we are having the 13 pins. Uh, 13 pins and after that uh, they have they are having the analog pins and uh, they are having the digital pins and they may have a 5 volt and 3 volt uh, these are the advantages that is uh, available in arduino but arduino is nothing but a combination of a uh, atmega 328p so you may work in the you may have a electronical obvious means uh, the atmega 328p uh, is enough for your uh, project presentation right your project uh, your project uh, atmega mega 32p is enough right so next we are going for the sensor measurement. So there is a lot of IoT devices, IoT websites are available. 
So things peak and expel uh, expel to store the use of uh, sensor measurement. So example, for example, you go, you may check this link. That is a things peak channel line. You may check this link, and uh, uh, this link uh, will uh, help us to go for a IoT IoT sensor that is connected to this particular uh, particular website, right? So you may check this uh, things peak. It is a free version only, and some of uh, some of the versions are paid one and you may use the free version as if you are, if you are in a beginner stage right uh, next to uh, the twitter uh, twitter also allowing the human to talk and receive the comments if you are able to uh, you may saw in the website right uh, this website of uh, that website uh, we are having is uh, you may you may have the voice that is transfer into a transfer into into a typing text uh, you, uh, that is that is present in a google board that is a google keyboard that that is present right so if you talk you're talking to hindi or english it may be uh, it may be converted into a several text so that is inverted by mean of uh, twitter that is allow the object to talk to human that receive the commands right so next one uh, next hand we are having the thinker io so it is also a internet of uh, internet of uh, things website and it is also available and free and uh, here uh, they are testing that arduino uh, that is for a blink application there is a led blinking led blinking you know so you may connect the uh, android android applications or else uh, you may connect the website that is uh, you may uh, press the button and it will flow that is a uh, led blinking so that is uh, that we can uh, show an example later right any queries? Any queries? Hi guys, if you have any queries, please ask. Sir will answer all your queries. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can either unmute or say yourself or you can write in the uh, chat box also. We will read out your queries and we will answer your Shall we start, ma'am? Shall we continue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can continue. I think there is no query. Krishna, you please refresh your screen once. Uh, you will see all it, all the things clearly. Please refresh your screen once. Okay. Next, uh, we are going to start the uh, start the session with the uh, Arduino. So Arduino, you know, you may know. So it can be easily connected with the USB. And uh, these are the references that uh, uh, that allow to follow the Arduino. So you may connect it by means of getting this uh, these links. So if you are using a Mac OS, means you may uh, copy and paste the first link. And uh, next, uh, Windows version means you may uh, having the second link. And after that, uh, if you having any playgrounds like examples in Linux, means you may share the third third one, right? So these are the basic we have to go for a target, right? So first of all, the resistor. So you, uh, you may have the, you may know the what is the resistor, right? That so resistor is nothing but uh, it is a, it is a drop, it is a voltage drop, and we here we are having to measure the partic uh, particular resistor by means of ohms, right? So it is also a color coded. It is also a color coded. You may, I think there is a. Hello. Yes, sir. Some disturbance has happened, ma'am. Okay, your dis. Okay, sir. If, sir, please enlarge your PPT, and uh, I think all uh, you can mute all participants from your side. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I think uh, disturbance causes all the participants are get muted only, ma'am. They are all muted. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So. Uh, I continue from this slide now. So this resistor, so the resistor can be uh, can be used for a various purpose. And uh, when you are using this LED, so LED is nothing but a light, light emitting diode. So when you are using the uh, LED, if you are using a five voltage in Arduino means you have to go for the two twenty ohms, right? Uh, that is uh, this is the uh, this smaller part is the anode one, and this bigger part is a cathode one, right? So you guys know about this uh, these things if you are electronic hobbyist or you are from engineering college. And uh, you may know this part, right? And if you are connecting this LED, if you are connecting this LED in a 
uh, LED in Arduino board means you have to connect the uh, resistor, right? Resistor because this LED only support a 3.3 volt. Ma'am? Yes, uh, this LED, yes, ma'am. Uh, that, that is a disturbance in your mic only, ma'am. Okay, I'm in my so. mic. Yes, okay, I will unmute myself and, uh, sir, please enlarge okay. your slides. Sir, your slides are look, coming at. Very smaller one, right? Can you, so it is not, uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Yes, sir. So please enlarge your slides, sir. Your slides are not visible on the screen. Okay. Now it's get visible. It's visible, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, it's visible, but it needs to be enlarged. They are coming in the corner of the page. It is okay, ma'am. I'm sharing the entire screen, ma'am. I'm sharing Sorry? the entire screen. It Visible. Uh, I'm sharing in the entire screen, ma'am. It is visible. Uh, wait, wait a minute, sir. I'll I'll come back to you. Okay. Shall I continue or I'll see? Yeah, I'm muting myself. Please continue, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, it is visible. Uh, it is visible, ma'am. I think the participants are going uh, going for this slides only. I'm continuing. Uh, when we go for a LED, so LEDs uh, we need a uh, three uh, two twenty or three thirty ohms that is needed to connect on on an anode uh, anode segmentation, and after that the negative is going to the ground of the Arduino, right? So these these are the LEDs uh, LEDs we are going for the going for fetch for the power supplies or else uh, output activated or input activated like that and after that we need a switch right a switch is a major concern uh, this is a push switch right so it uh, dpst switch and lot lot of switches are available uh, when we press the switch means we can uh, close the particular connection and uh, give, a, give a trigger to the particular connection right uh, these are the basic thing we needed to uh, we needed to connect our, uh, we needed to connect up for the Arduino devices, right? So the resistor, the LED, the switches, these are the basic things, right? If you are uh, having a much of your knowledge, much knowledge in uh, much knowledge in our uh, in our electronic means, it is very good, right? So next of all, this is a breadboard design. You may have you may have in uh, uh, colleges. Uh, it's having a uh, n number of pins, right? In a vertical vertical way it is open and the horizontal way it is get closed right so this uh, these are the things uh, it's a basic thing you have to need to concentrate and uh, go for a target right next of all uh, going, going for the wiring uh, wiring a switch with Arduino so these are the basic things so you have you may have the blinking segmentation right so here the keypad is available and after that uh, that is a that is a uh, a number of digital pins. I I going for this uh, presentation as a uh, this uh, this slide as a important one because uh, it have a uh, 12 13 uh, digital pins 0 1 0 1 2 and 13 and after that there is a ground signal is available and after that ARF and uh, STA and the SCL right and uh, here they are having a five voltage as a at a separated one from the Arduino and 3.3 as a separated voltage from the Arduino. It is connected to this particular uh, button. The button having a uh, four terminals. This is the uh, one terminal. So it is needed to connect it on the left hand side. And after that, the second pin is connected to the, uh, this second terminal is connected to the second pin. And after that, it is going for the ground, right? The black color uh, pin is indicate the ground and it is connected to the resistor opposite, right? And another resistor is needed to on a second terminal, right? If you push the button, it will not affect the Arduino. So, because uh, if you push the button, means five volt is directly uh, transferred to the second voltage. It will cause some of the damage to the Arduino. And uh, if we have the resistor and it is going for the ground, means it will not happen. So, right? It will not uh, get malfunction the Arduino, right? So, the push button it is an important one. It is a basic thing of the uh, IoT, and uh, it is a normal Arduino. So, it is a normal microprocessor. 
and from this we can uh, transfer the uh, transfer the microprocessor towards the iot right so next of all this is the program uh, programmable segmentation so pin mode so it is uh, here we are having a sensor pin so int is nothing but sensor pin equal to 2 right so it is uh, it is an example of the button so when uh, it is connected to the number pin number 2 and setup so here there is a two segmentation Seg setup we are uh, we are going for the defining the particular pins what are what are using if i uh, using the 13 pin we have to describe on it this right so maybe you may use the two uh, pin mode two comma input uh, two comma input you may uh, describe this right you may deploy as the uh, two number uh, two, two number comma input right uh, i am already declared in the outside that is uh, globally i can uh, uh, i am declaring a sensor pin equal to 2 right so wide setup wide setup that there, there is for declaring the particular pins and the loop setup it is uh, it is for the looping so here the sensor value equal to digital read of sensor sensor value equal to digital read of sensor pin here sensor pin is connected to this uh, input means and uh, we are having the sensor print ln on the output segment so so we can connect the ir sensor on here here the second terminal means ir sensor get low means sensor value will get high right so these are the basic thing we have to concentrate on the programmable segment right and uh, these devices uh, is nothing but a uh, esp devices so esp devices are, are largely available in uh, in our segmentation that is uh, our india we are having a esp uh, with Wi-Fi, uh, there is an Arduino with Wi-Fi, it is called as a ESP. Uh, we may have the 8266, I think so. Uh, we may have, I, I confident with that, 8266 is, uh, is a major development. And uh, this uh, this is used for, used for transferring the data by means of internet. We can activate the device and we can deactivate the device. And these pins, so GPIO 1 to uh, GPIO 16, right so these pins can be controlled by means of a internet so we needed to connect the internet uh, towards this so we knew, uh, we know about that uh, ssid so what is the ssid means uh, when we transferring the hotspot to our friends means uh, uh, there is a hotspot uh, in the hotspot terminal there is a ssid and password right so ssid is nothing but a name and a password is nothing but a password of a particular hotspot so you may you may connect these devices to the particular device, a particular phone means you needed to uh, hotspot on the particular phone. And after that, the details will be entered uh, by means of a program towards the ESP, right? So after that, the general key is uh, needed. There is a API key is needed too. If you are having a Blink application and if you are having a Tinker, if you generate some of the things means, if you generate some of the things, you may have the uh, key that, that, that is generated by mean of a blink option that is generated by, uh, generated by mean of a thinker I they have they are having the keys right so they may be uh, given to the they may given to your mail id or your phone number like that uh, they may transferring the key right so after that you may program this particular uh, program program or patch into a particular esp8266 means it will get connected to the internet right so that we you can uh, you, you can operate the devices by means of uh, clicking uh, there's a button in our uh, android application you can control these uh, kind of uh, gpio on that right and uh, next to right hand side there is a uh, this is the one of the temperature sensor dht that is a community sensor here we are can uh, note the temperature in sensors and we can connect the uh, we can connect all the, by means of a ESP. Same segmentation here I am follow, and same we have to follow here. Here the D1 is connected to this data pin, so there there is a NC is available. So NC is connected to the D1 pin, right? So when we uh, when we uh, having the some of the Android applications like uh, sensor sensor valuation, the D1 is uh, getting. Uh, uh, getting triggered by mean of this sensor right so this value is converted by mean of uh, several calculation it may make you uh, give a uh, several temperature to uh, to our phone devices right so the phone devices may be having a 34 degree in our area means it will it will be transfer the data towards the phone and the phone will be uh, showing that 32 degree or uh, 44 degree depends upon the sensor receiving the value right uh, any queries?
So there is a question. Okay, ma'am. Uh, they want to know about Zigbee Gateway. Can you please little about Zigbee Gateway also? Uh, Zigbee Gateway is nothing but uh, it is a uh, one of the Android application. Uh, Zigbee is uh, only they, we can transfer into a, a room. So if you are having a room in a several situation means uh, uh, there is a several uh, meters it can be transferred. So that is a drawback of Zigbee. Uh, it is like a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections, right? Whether it is clear. Ravi, is it clear now? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Shall I continue the presentation, ma'am? Ma'am, shall I continue the presentation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please continue. Please continue, sir. Ah, okay, ma'am. Okay. Oh, that is the importance on the futures of the IoT devices. So the importance is nothing but a connectivity and sensing, sensing, and uh, active engagement and scales and dynamic nature and intelligent and energy and integration and safety. So, so the connectivity is an important thing. So the connectivity, so we can uh, having a closed circuit and open circuit, and uh, we may connect uh, these kind of things, and uh, this may be. Uh, happen to connect the uh, connect the uh, IoT devices to the entire world, right? The sensing also needed to connect in uh, right away. And if you are having an IR sensor, we are having a PR sensor, and we are having the lot kind of sensor like that. And we needed to sense the particular things. So if you are having a PR sensor, means it uh, it uh, it identify the human uh, human transformation, right? If uh, the human maybe go go and come, means uh, it will be get sensed, right? So the PAR sensor and the IR sensor are play a major role in our uh, IoT devices. And if you having any intrusion detection system, so any any intrusion may be, uh, may be detected by means of these kind of sensor and uh, active engagement. So you needed to connect to our uh, segmentation. You needed to connect to our uh, devices by means of uh, 24 or 7, right? So 24 hours you have to operate the things. If you having a security in uh, Design. If you have, if you embedding the your design in IoT, IoT, and you needed to have connected into a active engagement, right? And next one, uh, the scale. The scale we have to go go for in a larger scale, right? Uh, larger scale and uh, scale uh, we are going for the that uh, we are uh, describing in uh, ten segments, right? Uh, 10 segments to uh, 100 segments so that is a scaling property uh, if you are introducing a segment in a 10 way and uh, going to a, a 100 way it is possible means uh, you needed to connect in the scale right so next one a dynamic nature so dynamic nature uh, it's maybe uh, let us consider the temperature one uh, the temperature one may be varied uh, temperature one may be varied or temperature two may be varied so according to that we have to go for a dynamic way and after that the intelligent may be caused the intelligent uh, is nothing but uh, artificial intelligence we can embed in on the IoT device, right? So artificial intelligence means uh, if you are recording too much data, right? If you are recording too much data means we can be embed uh, that artificial intelligence to our IoT devices, right? So energy, so the consumption of the energy we have to go in a reduced manner because uh, nobody can uh, uh, allow us to connect uh, powerful devices like motor, uh, like that uh, we don't want to that kind of energy uh, have to consume we have to go for in a reduced manner if you are using adapter it is better if you are using a transformer means it's not better so you have to choose a, a lower a lower adapter a low, lower power power presentation right so next on next of all the integration so integration must be in a lower manner so that that is a lot of uh, integration is allowed so integration are needed to uh, transform a lot of things right so integration maybe we can consider a lot kind of integration right so integration uh, we needed to embed it because of uh, we need a lot of data right so a lot of data we are going to for integration on a lot of devices we have to need an integration uh, that we needed to transfer that we needed to transfer and uh, we needed to have a lot of integration on it if we produce uh, integration means uh, it's pretty good for the customer to buy the particular uh, particular things, right? Next of all, uh, let us go for the sanitizer. So, automatic sanitizer are doing a lot of uh, lot of lot of 
uh, companies are going for the automatic sanitizer uh, they are putting the pump inside the sanitizer so it is not a safety one and if you are putting a pump in a sanitizer means the, it is a dc current it will get uh, burned i think so uh, i think it will it will definitely get uh, burned if the dilution is not done on the sanitizer right so the safety is the important measure for the, the designing the particular devices uh, you may have the safety means uh, uh, it will not get a uh, thing it, it will get a proper thing you may connect the uh, devices in a several better way and the uh, better screw and uh, you may have the any uh, defects will cause us like the safety measure we have to measure on the iot devices and next one these are the challenges of the iot devices right so here we are having the insurance and uh, right hand side we are having the automobile and transportation so insurance company also uh embodying the particular uh, iot devices uh, because uh, the several sector several mans are present or not uh, or else they are able to move on place to another place the automatic transfer uh, transformations uh in the automobile and transfer uh, transform uh, transportation uh it is needed to connect a gps right i already spoke about the gps uh, that is a car and the trucks are available even our truck owner have uh, embodied the gps on the particular truck so it it may help the help that the they, uh, the owner can watch the particular truck uh, where it, where it is going how many mileage are they they are getting and uh, how many how many things are the uh, if they traveled uh, like that they know right so next of all next uh, next thing the car so car we already know the car so we have to we may uh, if you are if you are a father of the uh, particular uh, doctor or son means they may travel so it may be it may be causes the maybe accident may be done or else uh, over rushing driving can be done it may be watched from my, our mobile or else watched uh, watched from our uh, laptop or tablet uh, it may we may watch their speeds and we, uh, watch their uh, location where they travel and like that uh, we can uh, we can go for now auto automobile and transportation next one uh, agriculture sector so these are the backbone of our india so that is agriculture sector so here we are needed to measure the uh, land humidity and uh, what are the humidity from the humidity of the uh, land so for example if uh, we are having a wet land means we needed to circulate the motor right so that we need a uh, automation on the agriculture sector uh, agriculture sectors or uh, not uh, embodying the this kind of a uh, microprocessor or microcontroller or iot devices like that so because the farmer or no, not no not much know about the knowledge of the iot devices uh, next one energy sectors there, there is a lot of power plants and uh, uh, power sectors are available in our uh, our india right so energy sectors are needed to calculate the what are the power uh, generated by themselves towards the internet of things that is iot devices that is needed to monitor the uh, particular uh, particular energy right so particular energy that is stored in the particular data means they can uh, calculate the future and uh, uh, past of the their uh, energy sec energy consumption next one manufacturing sec uh, sectors uh, manufacturing sectors are uh, producing a lot of kind lot kind of uh, uh, devices that is a uh, components are provided by the manufacturing so we needed to count right so we needed we needed to count or uh, we needed to import a lot of things from the manufacturing sectors so this may be uh, given to the iot iot uh, application that is done by mean of uh, counting or else uh, any other particles uh, maybe manufacturing near, need a safety concern from the iot devices so we can uh, share that uh, we can share the manufacturing sectors towards the iot challenge so these are the segmenters i uh, having the challenges in the uh, iot's so according to my concern so any questions beyond that sir there is a uh, what question ma'am what is the men having any questions iot is applicable for a uh, cyber security purpose yeah it is applicable for cyber security purpose but a uh, lot of resources are going on the uh, uh, that is cyber security and uh, it may be it may be in the future that is artificial intelligence devices uh, or embodied means uh, it can be go for it, it can be good for a uh, cyber security purpose right and next one rajini yadav what is the difference between iot devices and artificial intelligence devices so artificial intelligence device is nothing but 
it is a basic uh, thing of iot device so if you are uh, able to construct iot devices means uh, that next level of the iot device is the artificial uh, intelligent device right so rajini yadav so you may have that uh, answer and uh, another question how can we protect the ic devices from the cyber hacking so it's a good question uh, cyber hacking a uh, lot of uh, patterns are being hacked by the uh, some of the countries i think so i studying in a research article and uh, it is a good question but uh, cyber hacking is not done by by mean of uh, having the exa exa code so uh, we are having the exa exa code on the ic right so that that uh, it's a very tough uh, type tough to hack the particular particular hack uh, hack exa value from the ic so it is uh, it is not possible and uh, it is also possible because uh, real time hacking is uh, playing a major uh, major role because uh, all the things are hacked by the hackers all over the world and even you may ask the question like the uh, ic devices from the cyber hacking means so it is also a possible thing i think so but it will be uh, not a uh, easier one right another questions uh shall you participants or uh, raise your hands so there is no question is available in the let us go for a presentation to continue on any questions Is there any questions? So, go for a presentation. Uh, this is the future and hope. Uh, people will get addicted to uh, addicted to the technological connections and uh, say no to unplugging. Right. So we are having the IoT devices. IoT devices. We are having an unplugging one. So plugging one is nothing but a we are connecting connecting the uh, connecting the devices into a 24 power 7 also i'll just discuss of uh, discuss in the previous slide and uh, next of all we have to increase the internet participants so it is uh, it is a major one so internet participants are uh, needed to connect on with so we are having the whatsapp we are having the facebook we are uh, always on on in the uh, online get online in the particular uh, social media right thing so so it is uh, it is the uh, internet participants we have to needed into uh, iot device because it is a future of the india so it is a uh, going to uh, rise in uh, rise in india within uh, two years right so next one uh, risk mitigation and uh, human ability will make a uh, iot software right so human ability may be decreased uh, will have the we will have the iot device in a larger man means human ability will get uh, decreased right so that is the risk of this factor uh, maybe the human may be uh, converted their technical knowledge into a uh, scientific knowledge just means they can survey in the world right so that's what uh, that's what i am going going in the presentation if you are a, uh, if you are a technical to, uh, technical in a too much means you can easily survey in the world so that's why this courses are introduced if you are learning this courses means uh, you can be easily survey in, uh, by mean of uh, uh, your engineering college you may Uh, you may have a final year. Final year means if you are get certificate like this, means you can be easily get a job, right? Uh, in IoT segmentation, right? IoT is a IoT based company, right? So it is a rapid increase in IoT. It is an increase in risk, right? Next one, future. So after that, uh, I already discuss discuss about the electronic hobbies, and after that, uh, IoT devices, and after that, artificial intelligence. These are the steps I am uh, introduce in the introduction slide. and uh, this is the increased of a ddoas attack right so future is the uh, based on the ddoas attack and uh, this may be uh, decreased right it may be decrease the risk factor that is a failure of the failure of the iot device because it is being to the next level means it will not get failure right so uh, it will increase the ddoas attack and after that the region of smart cities so you may have the delhi as a new delhi and uh, Uh, Madras as Chennai and, uh, and Bangalore as a smart cities, right? So these are the words because of that. Uh, if you are going for the smart cities, means uh, if you go for a bus or else you, you may go for a walk, means there is a lot of digital boards, right? So 
so this will both display about uh, what are what are the uh, climate condition whether it is raining or else when the or else what are the what are the buses are going for this uh, this areas like that uh, uh, these are the smart rides if you go for a railway station means they will announce they will announce uh, uh, the next train will be arrived on the platform number 1 like that uh, they told but we have the app today the, there is a varis varis my train app so the varis my train app uh, discuss about the lot of uh, trains so what are the trains are the, uh, going for going for this station to that station and when will the train reach and where is the train and like that there is a lot of option is available in a uh, where is my train app right so these are the internet of things so the particular uh, train having the uh, gps devices or uh, iot based devices that is needed to connect to the app and that that app can be translated to you as a user interface right so these are the smart cities uh maybe we are having the bus stand uh, bus stand in that bus uh, in that bus stand the display will be going like this if you are having a smart city in the future means uh, next bus will be arrive on this time uh, you may go for this location means you have to wait for 5 minutes like that uh, the future will be uh, future will be happen it may happen in uh, india within a uh, 3 years i think so next one the artificial intelligence will be the big right so the, it is a next level of the iot i already uh, spoke to you the artificial intelligence and uh, here we are going for the uh, artificial intelligence if you are having a uh, that is a smart vehicle that is smart vehicle means autonomous vehicle if you are about that uh, a lot of companies are forwarding towards the autonomous vehicles uh, that is a driverless vehicles so that is a part of the artificial intelligence if you are constructing iot devices uh, we can run the vehicle but we are, we are going for the autonomous vehicle means we are embodying the artificial intelligence only it is possible uh, you have to go for the left side right side and back side we have to move for the lidar lidar sensor or else we have to go for a camera then then only we can uh, operate the operate the autonomous robot so that is a artificial intelligence so that is a next level of iot right so this is all the carrier uh, carrier in the iot devices so first of all the machine learning and the ai ai is uh, nothing but artificial intelligence and machine learning is nothing but uh, we have to learn right so we have to learn uh, to survive in the world so that's that's uh, that's other, that's one part and another part we have to learn the particular machine right and we have to allow the machine to learn so that is nothing but a machine learning right so the machine learning is needed and because of the machine learning only uh, machine can only uh, only they can learn Uh, for example if i uh, going for the open cv python uh, python uh, python that that kind of a project means uh, there is a uh, there is a option is available that is a uh, we can capture the image we can train the image we can train the image with a, a previous thing and let us compare this value and produce the output right uh, if you having the same value on the particular devices mean it will get alarm for example if you having n number of robbers in a police station means you can uh, train the particular photos into a iot devices right so after that you may you may uh, you may fetch the devices in uh, in the public places right so uh, the iot devices have the option if the train the images having uh, matched with the camera camera input means it will get one so Uh, let us consider this application may be helped uh, to avoid the thefting right so this kind of the machine learning we have to embody right uh, these are the carrier in the iot so next one design of data so data also forming a uh, many uh, many post ways so for example uh, if you are designing a gps uh, means you have to know about the customer you have to know about the customer present status and past status and history of the history of the particular uh, customer where they are going how many miles the bike will have uh, how many speed it will go uh, you have to know about the data so that is the design of data you know the data very well from your uh, gps devices or i would gps this iot devices you have to uh, show the particular data into a graphical format so it may help the uh, it may help the particular user to interact with your uh, application so that is the design of data so you may have a design application next one automation so there is a lot of automations are uh, needed to allow so if you are having a 
if you are having a industrial or your own means you needed to uh, put an alarm at 9 o'clock and uh, 5 o'clock and uh, ending alarm starting alarm is 9 o'clock and ending alarm is uh, 6 o'clock means it is needed to auto automate we don't want to press the buzzer to on the particular devices uh, it is not a automation for for and uh, it is a one of the way of automation right so next one hardware interfacing so it is an important one we may choose a lot of uh, interfaces right we may choose a lot of hardware interfaces for example we can use the camera as an interface we can use a sensor as an interface we can uh, go for a relay as an interface right so we have to manipulate the higher hardware and we have to manipulate the uh, we have to not import the lower lower amount of uh, that is a cheaper uh, interface we don't want to unload because if you are importing a cheaper uh, cheaper one means it will get uh, disturbed or, or else one or else you have the name will spoil you right so if, if you are going if you are uh, having a talented in your electronical means you may go for a, a better hardware and a high hardware and quality hardware right so these are the important one in the hardware interfacing next one mobile development so mobile development we needed to create a graphical user interface uh, towards the customers. If you are a, if you are a, if you are in a designing designing area, means you have to create a, a smooth one, a smooth interface towards the particular user, right? So next one, UI and UX design. So it is a part of the mobile development. Next one, information security. So information security is a major one. So uh, you, you needed to secure the particular customer uh, data. If, if you are losing the particular customer data means it will be uh, will be in a hacker manner so we needed to uh, provide the security for the information in the customer side right so next to our next one business intelligence so business intelligence uh, we needed to create in the marketing segmentation so we needed to uh, provide a version as 1.0 2.0 and uh, like that 3.0 we have to evolve the uh, particular business intelligence to uh, make our version as, as soon as possible by means of a smaller development. So, any queries is available? Any queries sir. is available? Yes, sir. So, students want to know what are the things required to learn IoT effectively? Okay, ma'am, I will present in the uh, next presentation uh, followed by this uh, these slides. Okay, there is one more question. What is DDoS attack? DDoS is a Daniel of services. Daniel of services, uh, deduced Daniel of services. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between risk mitigation and rapid increase in IoT? What is the, what are, What's the difference between risk mitigation and rapid increase in IoT? Uh, it is nothing but uh, to, to always get the What's the future of IoT? Uh, future of IoT, ma'am, there is a disturbance. Is, uh, you know, there is a disturbance is, uh, getting uh, I think, where is it coming? Uh, future of IoT, uh, it is uh, I going to present in the next slide. So you may uh, concentrate on these things. Means you may have the have a better idea, right? So shall I present this? So what's so the difference the between what's the difference between risk mitigation and rapid increase in IoT? So both are similar. Uh, similar only, only there is advancement advancement only only you are asking advancement only you are asking there is a, one part is the introduction one and another part is the advanced one so you, you may have the artificial intelligence right shall you hear me are you hear me hello yes sir sir it is an advanced segmentation only uh, you may watch in the future slide means you may have a better idea on that. Sir, yes, there sir. is one more yeah. question from Chris. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Sir, there I is one more that. question from Krishna Chaurasia. Can you please read it and answer? Okay, okay ma'am. Sir, uh, that is Krishna. Krishna asked me about the question. Sir, I did attach the Atmega 
need to be that you know and uh, made by a minimal circuit from using 60 uh, m hertz crystal oscillator ceramic capacitor in order uh, it's possible uh, krishna it is possible no uh, no worry about that you may you may take a, take a mega ic from the arduino board and you may have the several pcb or else uh, you may dot matrix uh, dot matrix circuit may be used uh, you can go for it right so it is a better idea so you may minimize the particular circuit, right? So next question from Nitin Kumar Patel: uh, How cloud computing can help in a IoT project, right? So uh, cloud computing, we needed to embed a lot of data. So we are having the sensor values, we are having a n number of counters, we are having a lot kind of uh, uh, devices that is needed to measure, that is converted into a data, that need uh, that uh, data needed to be secure. So that is secured by means of a cloud computing, right? So cloud computing is needed because uh, we know we are having a temperature in a vary. So let us consider for a uh, we are climatic condition may be varying according to the according to the according to the day by day, right? So day by day by day, uh, day by day may be temperature may be noted down and it is put it into a graphical format into a or, or spreadsheet in our uh, Google account or else Google computing. Google uh, cloud computing, so it may be uh, it may be used for the next uh, next years, right? We may compute the particular value. You may compute a particular value. What is going on the next uh, next day? Uh, that kind of things you may you may use in the cloud computing, right? I think uh, Nitin Kumar have a better answer. Yes, sir. Please continue, sir. I think uh, next answer, uh, next question is asked from the participants. Uh, no. Okay, let's continue. So, next one uh, job position is available in IoT. So, if you are a designer, if you are having a designer in a CAD, uh, CAD means a uh, designer is needed for if. Uh, the question is asked, asked from the participants that uh, that mega IC can be uh, taken into uh, taken from the Arduino means it will cause several damage. It will not cause damage. It's so one of the application that mega application one say only Arduino, right? So designer, we have to concentrate on the CAD. So CAD you already know the computer aided design. So who can uh, who can design IoT consumer devices such as wearables, right? So we have to produce a PCB. Or else we have to produce the component into a, a smaller one. So if you, if you know about a 3D printer and how to print uh, uh, how to print the particular uh, particular design into a 3D printer, means it is going for a better designer way, right? Next one, material specialist. So this is I needed to this is I needed to concentrate on the uh, example slides. So material specialist. Next one, embedded engineer. So here. Uh, we are producing uh, producing a microprocessor, right? Producing a microprocessor, we can program number of program into a microprocessor. But embedded engineer must be concentrated on sensor. Sensor, they can place a particular value or particular program into a sensor. That is the embedded engineer. So if you are able to program a microprocessor, means uh, you can easily embed a embed a sensor. It is a next level. Uh, embed, uh, microprocessor programming is very easy. But compared to the sensor programming, it is tougher. So it is uh, it is a hands in the embedded engineer, right? Uh, these these are the job questions available in IoT IoT uh, in the future of India. Next uh, next one, the job question available in IoT. That is the second slide. So network engineer. So in network engineer, we have to need to concentrate on on the network. That is a fog computing network. Uh, these are the important gateway. Uh, this network engineer can be uh, responsible to connect the internet connection between the IoT devices and the mobile phone or internet. So they are needed to concentrate. We may have the uh, colleges as a network engineer like that. So in a company, there is a network engineer that is needed to uh, needed to available uh, to produce the uh, produce the connection between the IoT devices and the uh, particular. Uh, phones or internet connection based laptops tablet right so next one cloud engineer so you may ask about the question about the cloud what's the cloud uh, uh, like that uh, you may ask so there is a 
that is a technology that is a no sql database right so it is a important important technology that is importing uh, embedding these days are uh, a lot of courses are conducting on no sql database right so the cloud engineer uh, must embed the iot devices on home platform means they need to be concentrated on sql that is sql is nothing but abbreviated form is structured query language right structured query language they needed to collect all the sensor data or values towards the structured query language uh, you may know uh, some of the computer science students available means uh, that is a structured query language they know that is where is uh, where uh, the data where the data where the where you have to find the data how to get the data how to read the data uh, we needed to concentrate uh, concentrated on the data fetching retrieving that is a cloud engineer problem we have to know about the basic of this that means you may go with the cloud engineer right next one data scientist so data scientist uh, i already spoke about the data data segmentation so that is uh, data segmentation is nothing but we needed to concentrate on and data that is fetching from the uh, sensors uh, that we can analyze the data uh, if you are having the covid uh, prediction it is a lot of uh, prediction a uh, lot of uh, resources going on the prediction right the prediction is nothing but uh, covid what is going on the these uh, june month what is going on the july month what is going on the uh, august month uh, they are going for a prediction so it is a lot of iterable papers also going on this prediction and uh, this prediction may be available in our segmentation that is a uh, data scientist right data scientist is uh, needed uh, data data scientist needed leader what are the prediction as going on iot devices in the future right so how the data may be varied how the data may be varied inversely varied or 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 else we have to compute the particular things right next one data visualization expert so we may have the lot of pie charts in our uh, excel sheet right so excel sheet uh, we needed to concentrate it on uh, excel so excel means we have a uh, n number of value in the uh, vertical and horizontal side you may have in uh, excel that visualization is uh, by mean of a bar chart pie chart like that so that visualization we needed to go in a customer so that is the important thing that visualization we can be concentrated on the data 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 visualization to the uh, customer means uh, we may export the data visualization right next one user interface engineering so user interface engineering uh, if you go for a if you go for a google means uh, that is a simple search box uh, search box is available so that uh, that particular ch check box maybe we can uh, uh, we can examine lot of uh, things uh, maybe you search uh, where is where are i am and what is the future of india what is the future of iot device we may search means it will give a better interface to us right so these are the interfaces we needed to create for the customer in the future you may have a uh, user interface engineering right data architect so we are going for the right model uh, for providing the coding one right one the classes uh, any questions is available uh, raj ji uh, rajini yadav what is the difference uh, Prana, what is the difference between edge computing and fog computing in IoT device? Uh, which one is preferred? Uh, I usually prefer the fog computing uh, because the fog is uh, fog give a better experience for me to connect the uh, better IoT devices with the uh, internet, right? So you may have a fog computing, so it may work in a uh, 4G connections better compared to this. The next one, other uh, other thing, other thing. what is the role of 3d modeling in uh, user interfaces so 3d modeling is nothing but you have to build a better 3d right uh, better 3d means uh, uh, you may have a uh, solid works so solid works you have to learn it so after the solid works it may give to the 3d printer and uh, 3d printer you may print the particular 3d modeling right so any other questions from your uh, participants i think the no other questions so we present so we can continue the presentation right
so the next one the programmer so programmer i told about that uh, we needed to place uh, values in the sensor right so values in the sensors and the sensor may be able to read the cloud database read by mean of a cloud database like that we have to go for a programmable right the next one test engineer so test engineers uh, it is a easy job but it's a tougher job to uh, transmit over the production right so test engineer we have to able to test the function of the iot devices uh, that is integrated by mean of uh, applications uh, that is needed on the scenario right so next one instrumentation engineering who will be able to handle the activator so instrumentation engineer is a responsible job for the use. instrumentation engineer is a sensor and the activator so already i discuss about the activator and the sensor uh, it is produced in the closed loop system so closed loop system is nothing but is a feedback connection and if you are uh, using the fan means it is a open loop system right so fan 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 when we are putting a fan means it will get uh, get on and it will get uh, right it will be get run right but in a closed loop system best example is a ac right if you are set as a temperature uh, to 30 degree means uh, it will uh, it will run the compressor until the 30 degree will run right so that is the closed loop system that is the instrumentation uh, engineer will needed to have the response uh, to connect the closed loop system so open loop system it is not possible for the iot devices we have to go for a feedback system as a closed loop system right so these are the five top five companies uh, that is the uh, needed to co concentrate or contribute to immense providing for the iot based solution across the verticals right salgo so engines altex innovation altizen Altizen system, Pixel clients, and IBM. So you may uh, know the IBM. So IBM is a is a computer based company, but it is uh, concentrating on a lot of IoT project and IoT based solution, right? So here, uh, who are the who are who are to learn? That is a who should learn. So it is my because my opinion is, is school students can be learned, and also a college students uh, also learn. And for some to know about the basic of the electronics, also learn the by uh, IoT device, IoT application, right? IoT course is for school students and college students and person to know about the basic of the electronics. So these are the guys can be easily learn the IoT. And uh, my why my farmers? So this is uh, this is what I'm going to create. So in the hardware setup, you needed to have the server style setup. And after that, uh, user database and concurrent uh, users, and next one bandwidth. So server type is nothing but uh, you you needed to have a server that is needed to always on with the IoT devices that is needed to connect uh, always in a, so with a connection with the server, right? Uh, next one, user database. So user database so you needed to collect all the information from the user or sensor value from the user and also transfer to the concurrent user, right? So bandwidth we have to increase in a larger way. So if you are reducing the bandwidth, means it will get lower, right? So software I am using is uh, learning management software. So this is the support uh, LMS service. So this support team will uh, also always available on 24 bar 7. So these are the course offered by our concern. Uh, certification in uh, Internet of Things, robotics system, and uh, certification program. Certification program, robotics process option certification program, and advanced certification in Internet of Things, beginner embedded system with Arduino, advanced certification in embedded system with Arduino, advanced embedded system with Big Microcontroller, advanced certification in system with ARMS, right? And uh, these are the example I'm going for the going for the Arduino and IoT application in the future. Uh, these are the some of the resources going on the IoT devices. And the left hand side, uh, it is designed by me. Uh, it is designed by me and uh, having a two servo motors. So you may have the uh, servo motor in our uh, so that servo motor maybe uh, get an axle, it will get trigger and it will operate it in, uh, into a 180 degree angle, right? You may, you may know about the servo motor. In the downwards, yeah, in downwards, that's a servo motor is available for the rotation, and in the upwards, that is servo motor is written for a uh, for rotation. That is a it is a vertical rotation. It is a horizontal rotation, right? So these these can be built for the COVID situation, right? So I think uh, there is a uh, queries is available. 
Uh, any questions available? Sir, Ritik is asking, what are the uses of IoT in our life? What are the uses of IoT in life? So we can uh, go for uh, home automation, right? Home automation, uh, we can control uh, control our uh, our light fans from various nations and various. Uh, this comes under the virtual system, right? Uh, Ritik Yadav, I hope uh, the answer is useful for you. And uh, if you are having a company, means you needed to automate all the machines uh, under your control, like a uh, drip switch of. Uh, Trip switch of our power supply, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the this is the design, and uh, in the center, the you know you know that uh, it is a temperature sensor. It is an infrared based temperature sensor. It is the it is given by the various companies, right? So I am taking I am going uh, going this uh, gun into replacing this gun, right? So it is going. Uh, this gun may be. Uh, it is uh, placed as a Nerf gun, right? This Nerf gun. Uh, it is suitable for this application. There is a COVID. We have to needed to automate the particular people's, right? Particular people. We have to watch the what are the temperatures available on the particular uh, people's. Uh, you, may, you may present in the. You may put this devices in a public area. So on watch the what are the temperature is available for the particular devices. So it is uh, uh, these particular things are uh, going a vertical way and horizontal way to place the head, right? So my program is like that. So when we when we are, when we are uh, in front of your gun means uh, this knob is facing uh, facing towards your head. Facing by. Are you hear me, ma'am? Yes, sir. Ma'am, actually, I had a disturbance in my computer, so it is get closed. Shall I continue, ma'am? No problem. Yes, sir. Please continue. Your screen is not visible, sir. Ah, uh, it's visible now. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. These are the remedies. So, so that is the left hand side. Uh, we are having the uh, two servo motor. That is a vertical and horizontal replacement. It is. Uh, Going for the face uh, tracking, right? So face tracking, we can be embodied, right? So this uh, gun is replaced by me of this gun, so it it will save some of the lives. So it will save the uh, nurse, uh, doctors, and the policemen, etc. This uh, robot may be uh, may be uh, will save all the police and uh, like that. They 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 are the person to test our. Uh, they are the testing the particular humans and after that uh, these are the line sensing robot you are, you are the guys may know about the line sensing robot the line sensing robot are uh, needed uh, needed for this uh, segmentation uh, that is uh, they are following only the line so the, there are many issues is going on covid 19 right so that is a uh, no medicine is given from the nurse to particular patient that is happened so we may have the Better idea. We may put a line sensing robot on that to transfer the make uh, transfer the medicine, uh, transfer the medicine to a particular area. Means it will follow the particular line and uh, it will give the particular medicine to the particular patient according to the uh, their concern. So it will make a contact less. And these two remedies, these two remedies will be help the uh, help the help the situation of uh, nowadays. And it will give the rescue for the all the countries i think so this is the uh, idea it is given by suggest by uh, ourselves and uh, it may be help for the future india and uh, i'm going to apply the pattern on these uh, two things right and information about technologies and uh, these are the uh, top 10 uh, iot projects so first one smart architecture and iot based uh, smart homes and iot enabled water and sensor एक तुम्हारी पुरानी नोटबुक थी म्यूजिक की म्यूजिक की नोटबुक थी उसमें चार पांच पेज भरे थे वो निकाल मैडम मैडम इट्स गेट डिस्टर्ब मैम हेलो 
next one air quality monitoring next one dri driving monitoring system rfid technology and healthcare application and wireless moisture sensor network and face recognition stuff right so i want to explain the three uh, three things from uh, this this one so i already explained about the smart agriculture system and iot based smart uh, smart home and uh, iot and uh, well, air quality monitoring so these are the major problem that is a uh, in uh, in six months ago there is a punjab uh, punjab there is a air pollution will happen to the delhis and due to that lot of uh, moisture is coming towards the delhi and uh, like that a lot of problem is going on it so we have to go for the air quali quality monitor how many how many particular uh, particles are get mixed like that we have to go for it and uh, next one the driving monitor is system so it is an autonomous robot i, I already uh, explained the artificial intelligence so this may be help in the uh, this may be help in the future uh, segmentation that is a uh, artificial intelligence i already spoke to you so we have to monitor the driving and uh, that is done by mean of a gps and like that right so next one uh, these are the health care application i already discussed about the covid uh, 19 how the iot devices can be help for the health care application so if you are having a heart patient in your home means we need to monitor the heart patient for 24 by 7 so they have to monitor the bp rating and for beat rating we have to monitor 24 bar 7 in the health care application right so so the this may this kind of a project will be help for the uh, future of the health uh, health and also the future of the india right so these are these are the small advice it is uh, obviously I, i i go for a small advice so i already uh, read that book is uh, you can win so that is a first uh, first line of the particular book is winner don't do the different thing they do the di things different right so these are these are the things you needed to concentrate on on your life uh, if you are having a different purpose for example if you are playing a cricket means uh, uh, all the 30 yards are and the 30 yards all the members are inside the 30 yards means you needed to uh, do a helicopter shot right so that is uh, that is what the uh, different thing that is done by minapur doni mahendra singh doni so we have to uh, do a different things that only we can uh, we can easily survive in the world right so these are the advices are uh, obviously you may uh, have the have this advice as a as a elder brother of me and uh, always you stay in a positive thought right you have to stay in a positive thought in a negative situation you may have a bad day you may have a very bad day in uh, many uh, in your life and uh, many situation right but you have to stay in a positive uh, positive uh, positive thought right so that is a left hand left hand side shows and right hand side if you having a negative thought too much means you are you are having a discharge battery that is you, you didn't have any uh, any technological you, you didn't learn you have a negative thought if you are grounding the negative thought means you can be come as a technological person that is a charged charged battery that is a charged battery means you are you are fulfill your life right so you have to negative you have to negative the ground right so this is the small advice that it is i am going to give to me uh next any question and answer any question and answer any questions from the participants shall we go for example slide so it is a interesting segments uh, is waiting for you hello sir so uh -huh. sir only to ask people need to be at line and if they don't be on line it will create some signal people need a to be online and if they don't go on online it will be create some signal no oh, ma'am uh, actually there is a disturbance is available the disturbance is having Line. If you are going to have any problem, it may be create some problem. Yes, ma'am. Actually, I had a disturbance that that I uh, spoke about you. This is on the device. They to told that this is on the device like that too. Shall we move on the another example, ma'am? Example slide, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show the example slides. That is a sample project. It is done by me. Uh, it is IoT projects, and uh, if you have any doubt, means uh, 
at the end of session uh, i will explain uh, i will uh, clarify your queries right so first of all the my project is uh, simple home automation right and then next one the automatic attendance and third one automatic sanitizer dispenser so it is not it is apart from the our presentation it is not come comes under the category of iot it is a general uh, general things i have to transmit to you uh, first of all we are going for the simple home automation and uh, simple uh, simple home automation is nothing but uh, here we are having the relay so already i uh, told about the activator and the uh, relay like that uh, i told so these these are the iot devices i am uh, done by mean of a pcb that get from the near up store and they are having the relay and esp that is esp is nothing but a combination of wi fi module plus arduino so we can easily program on it and uh, it is done by mean of a blink application so blink application i already uh, told about the uh, blink android app is available so that android app can be uh, create a simple user interface to connect the iot device right so here the iot devices is place and after that we are having the four relays right so here the major problem is when we activate the device when we activate these bulbs in a manual way means uh, it will create some problem so i i am understand the particular situations i am here placing a 240 volt supply right so 240 volt supply it is directly connected to the input as well as output right so here this is the, the basic switch it is connected to the uh, connected to the terminals i will explain the operation in the operation segmentation right this is the circuit segmentation i needed to explain before the operation uh, here the relay is needed right so the relay is needed to control the particular switch so you know that the uh, ac voltage having the phase and neutral so we needed to connect directly the neutral and we need uh, we need to switch the particular phase right so phase uh, phase is switched by mean of these things right so it is collected from these terminals the phase is collected from these terminals and uh, connected to here right so here the ac source is available and uh, here the positive signals are positive uh, positive there is a phase is connected as a ground right it is going towards the relay and after that neutral is directly connected to the wire that is uh, neutral is directly connected to the wire uh, wire by mean of black wire when the relays get activated this red color line is joined together relay relay will join together right so after that after that uh, it will create some of the uh, some of the energy to the particular bulb and it will create it will get low right so when we switch on this uh, particular application on this segmentation means uh, they, they, this ESP get the positive signal and get and get activate this particular relay. So that is shown in the simple home automation. So here the left hand side, uh, left hand side is uh, they are running the switch and it will indicate on the Android application, right? This is the one term. And right hand side, uh, they are having the uh, they are having the bidirectional. That is done by mean of Android application and also a switch, right? You may have that. Uh, they pressing the first one, second one, and third one, and fourth one. The bulb will be go, go dynamically. So according to the input, right? So this is a home automation. Uh, home automation it is done by me. Uh, done by me. And next one we are going for the automatic attendance. So automatic attendance. You need a fingerprint or else you you need a camera on the input, right? So here I am placing the fingerprint. So it is a simple application. Here I am only need a ESP8266 that is a microprocessor that is Wi-Fi based microprocessor that is Android on Arduino plus Wi-Fi module. So it is uh, connected with a 3.3 terminals of the uh, particular microprocessor and uh, transmitted and received and it is connected to the ground. So here we are having only four terminals. So there is a positive and negative and uh, RX and TX. So here we are going for a bidirectional way. Uh, here I am. We are we are seeing just uh, seeing that how to enroll and how to permanently store the fingerprint. So this uh, fingerprint having one one is uh, only one twenty seven uh, IDs. So yeah, that uh, fingerprint having uh, IDs like uh, IDs like uh, zero to one twenty seven because uh, this uh, this uh, fingerprint having a EP room, right? So the EP room having we are having a one twenty seven. 
store fingerprint only we can store right so these are the small uh, smaller enrollment so here i am placing the hand on the fingerprint means the image will be taken and image is converted into converted and removed the finger and after that we have to re, uh, replace the particular thing right so after that the placing the finger means image taken and image gets stored on the 11th id 11 right so the id 11 get stored means we have to save the id 11 as a uh, one part and it will be matched towards the name uh, number mobile number uh, like that we have to call the particular fingerprint id towards the database so it is a uh, it is a big segmentation we needed to explain a lot uh, we needed to explain a lot lot, lot of time to taken uh, taken into an application right so next one automatic home automation i already spoke to you uh, and it, it is done by me done by me mean of uh, uh, it is done by mean of uh, one one interest and uh, it, it will it will be help for your uh, homes and your uh, uh, shops and you, you may have a bigger part means you may help uh, uh, several uh, society right uh, this is a this is a part it is a simple wiring diagram i collected from the internet so it is a smaller part only uh, you may try in your phone right you need a you must need a tip 32 c pnp transistor right so transistor have a property if the input is enabled output get enabled right if the input is not enabled output get disabled so here i am input i placed as a uh, ir sensor it will get a one and zero according to the input right if i place a hand on here means it will get the one as a data towards the pnp transistor if i not placing this hand on here means it will get zero right if uh, one is getting towards this pnp transistor means there is a five voltage is getting towards the pnp transistor on the base segment means the pump will get activated right so or else the pump will get deactivated the pump will activate that means it will uh, it will pour the water into a uh, this time right so it is shown in that uh, this this slide so here i am placing the ir sensor the IR sensor is placing here, and after that, it is uh, suck the particular water into a upside. So it is the one of the type. The same type I am following this uh, prototype. So here, uh, here I am placing the some of the color papers and models. You may have the mixy right mixer model, and uh, it is I am uh, vertically shifted and uh, place this model. And uh, topwards I am placing a water bottle on that. And uh, here uh, we can we go for uh, uh, go for the sanitize around that and it will wait faster so it is not at a advisable method according to my concern because uh, soap water is uh, soap water is enough but uh, we needed to have a pump in uh, inside the sanitizer mean it will be get burned so soap water is uh, it's not a matter but uh, uh, we are going for the sanitizer means the inside we placing the pump is a uh, it will cause the several damage to the people may even it get uh, burn according to my concern if the voltage or Fluctuation may be increased, it will be cost, right? And the next one, uh, it is a better design compared to the previous one. Uh, here, all the devices are, uh, are fetching is or uh, are advised by the experts from the industrialists, right? From the industries, uh, here the I, uh, IC, uh, IC, IC not I, I triple five, I, IC triple five timer in place, right? So that is a timer circuit. So it is simply cost as a timer circuit. Here they are having a four terminals. So one zero, zero zero, and one zero like that. Uh, we are going for the dip. Zero zero means five seconds. One zero means uh, ten seconds. Uh, one one means uh, fifteen uh, fifty seconds. And uh, zero one means uh, hundred seconds. I think so. And uh, I am just placing a ten second, right? So here uh, right hand side having an IR sensor, IR proxy sensor, right? So we, uh, before I uh, showing about that the IR normal sensor, it is a IR proxy sensor. It is costly. It is costly more about a uh, 950 rupees, right? Here I am placing a buzzer, right? This buzzer will be indicate the sound when the hand is placed on here, right? So these are the these are the automatic sanitizer. Automatic sanitizer how it's working? It's only for a three drop, right? So it is enough for to. Uh, wash all all the hand towards the by by mean of by mean of a rubbing. So this indicates that the red color light that will go when the sensor is get activated. The timer will uh, open the solenoid valve. So this is the solenoid valve. 
So the solenoid valve get activated by means of a giving input from the sensor, right? It is a simple uh, logic. It is designed by means of a RO plant. The RO plant you may have in the room or else you may see in a lot of areas, right? So it is a simple design. So moreover, I spend the uh, two thousand five hundred rupees to design this particular application. Its capacity is a four point five liters, and uh, uh, it, it uh, but uh, the marketing cost is nine thousand rupees, right? Nine thousand rupees or uh, six thousand to nine thousand rupees, according to the sensor we are putting, right? So it is not a advertisement. Uh, you may do it or own uh, for your build up your society. So it is a small advice is given by me. Okay. Uh, any queries uh, regarding this project? Any queries? Participants, you may ask the queries. Moment answer. Yeah. Uh, a lot of questions are available. Is there any other device why we can use because of relay which work for same like that relay? Yeah. There is a PNP transistor, NPN transistor. It is act like relay. You may try a uh, ULN 2003, right? Uh, it is for a uh, uh, it is for a stepper motor controller. You may use it as a relay, right? So you may have a circuit diagram and uh, on that uh, you may search in the internet, right? ULN3 as a relay driver. You may search in a Google means it will give the answer. And uh, PNP transistor, NPN transistor. You may have the sanitizer example. That is a input as a base as a terminal. Base terminal we give a input means uh, collector terminal will get output, right? If the sanitizer dispenser instead of proximity sensor, ultra ultrasonic sensor used, yeah. But we are going for the ultrasonic sensor. Me, uh, we use the micro microprocessor or Arduino. We are using that uh, to calculate the distance, right? So I am designing the system without the ultrasonic sensor, right? IR sensor it will give a one value. Uh, that is a when uh, when it is conducted means it will give a five voltage. When the five voltage get to the timer means it will uh, operate the solenoid valve, right? Alvin, I get the answer. Okay, okay, ma'am, ma'am. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Ah, yes, ma'am. I'm here, ma'am. Some of the questions are asked by the participants. I may answer it. Uh, yes. Any sir. other questions, yes, ma'am? Yeah, Alvin is asking if we are using ultrasonic sensor to replace IR sensor yes, in sanitizer. Uh, it is not. It is possible, but we have to replace the microprocessor. The timer circuit will be replaced by means of a microprocessor. It is possible, uh, but it is to, uh, tougher. It is tougher to program the microprocessor. So I am designing uh, this uh, project as a uh, without microprocessor. Okay. okay if in sanitizer dispenser, in if in a sanitizer dispenser, instead of proximity sensor, ultrasonic sensor is used then. Yes, ma'am. Ultrasonic uh, sensor it may have a uh, several distance. We have to calculate it, and uh, it is a tougher one because ultrasonic sensor having a lot of holes in the their segment. It will uh, it will it will allow the lot of dust into the sanitizer into the ultrasonic sensor. So it is not possible to design for the particular uh, sanitizer, ma'am. Okay. So guys, if there are any more questions, please. You can write in the chat box, or you may unmute yourself and raise your queries. This is a very good uh, session, very nice interactive session with uh, Professor Alauddin. We are very thankful to him. Uh, students, guys, if you have any more questions, please write it in the chat box or unmute yourself. So, this was a very nice, interactive, and informative session, sir. I think no, no more questions. I uh, just wish to inform all of you. Today we are giving a very lucrative uh, offer to all of the participants of this program only. That means if you will enroll in any of the programs, 
you know at tactop you will be getting 25% flat discount so i will be sending you mail also all of you so if you wish you may contact me on my number i am dropping my number in the chat box or you may register directly on the site also so there are many programs available to iot uh, uh, related to iot on with us so for more information you can join our programs right sir thank you sir okay. it was a very nice thank session you. thanks a lot yeah bye bye guys bye we are ending the session here yes bye Hello. Hello. Ah, and the, and the, and the.